Here's a look at the admin page of my Kiwi SDR. So each Kiwi will have one of these. As a user, you'd normally not be able to access it, but this is where we can set various parameters for the receiver. And you can also keep an eye on how well everything is working. So the first tab on the admin interface is status. And uh, it's just some information as to the, uh, the latest firmware that's on the Kiwi. Um, how many SDR receivers are available. You can see there's a GPS status there. And um, there's some um, specifications for just how much CPU is being used in the Beagle, the single board computer that powers the Kiwi. Some information about the, uh, the network here. And uh, basically that's, that's about it on the status page. So if we click on to the mode page, we will see that this Kiwi, this is my Kiwi, Kiwi, is set at the classic Kiwi mode, which means there are four independent receivers. These can be tuned by four different people, different frequencies, different modes, whatever. Um, I could add more receivers. You can see I could add up to eight receivers on the Kiwi, but there would be some restrictions. The more people that we're using the Kiwi, uh, the less facilities there would be, basically. Uh, you wouldn't get the spectrum display and you wouldn't get some of the other functions. So we can set the Kiwi up on this mode page. I just leave mine in classic. If we go to control, this is where we can reboot the receiver. We can power it off. The Beagle, of course, as I said, is the um, single board computer that controls the Kiwi. We can reboot the Beagle or power it off. We can kick uh, any connections off. Uh, we can disable connections to the Kiwi. We can set various parameters. We can have time limits on how long you can be connected to the Kiwi. We can set passwords and so on. So that's basically the control of the access to the Kiwi on this page. Got a connection page here, which um, basically points my Kiwi to my um, no IP domain name. So if you were going to connect to my Kiwi, you would use uh, the gw0kig.ddns.net address, connecting over the internet. That's where I set that up. And on the config page, again, there are parameters that we can alter. We can get the Kiwi to default to an initial frequency. We can have the um, default mode set here, have the default uh, color on the waterfall display, and uh, various other parameters. We could set um, a maximum receiver frequency. You can see here in the, in the middle, it's set for 30 megahertz. Now, one of the Kiwis I use is medium wave only, so that, that uh, is set at 2 megahertz on that particular Kiwi, and therefore that would be the maximum frequency to which you could tune. It's also possible to uh, block out certain frequencies. Um, when the um, Russian-Ukraine conflict first started, uh, a number of the Russian SDRs uh, blocked out 4625, which is the buzzer frequency, because I guess they were getting all sorts of people logging on to listen to the buzzer on 4625 and the interference that was being made to it. So you can block out uh, particular frequencies on here as well if you need to. We'll just go to the uh, web page tab, and uh, this is the information that uh, appears when you open my Kiwi. I can set uh, my call sign, the uh, the altitude of the uh, location the receiver's in, and my uh, my location, and so on. Again, on the public uh, tab, we've got more information that will come up when you access the Kiwi. Got information about my antenna and uh, my location. This DX tab, well. I'm not too sure what this is uh, <laughs> what this is about, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of frequencies listed here and identifications, but I'm not quite sure what this signifies. 
Um, I think it, it connects with some of the labels you see when you log into the Kiwi, and clearly these can be altered. But this is an area I need to do a bit more research on. That's the DX tab. Uh, the update tab is um, where I set up how the Kiwi will uh, update. It will automatically install any software updates and reboot afterwards. That's the way I have it set. On the backup tab, we can back up the settings of the Kiwi onto a micro SD card. So if anything goes wrong, we can uh, re-enable our receiver with the same parameters that were previously set. The uh, network uh, information, we can set the port that the Kiwi is using and various other um, network parameters. So not a great deal of interest to the user, but something that's uh, quite important if you're running a Kiwi. If you remember on the introductory uh, video about the Kiwi, I uh, showed you the uh, little GPS puck antenna and the connector for the GPS. And this is the GPS page. You can see the various uh, signal strengths coming in from the satellites that my Kiwi is picking up on the little antenna. If you look at the bottom um, box here, you can see that I'm tracking eight satellites. I've got seven with good signals. You can see the UTC offset, so the Kiwi has taken the um, correct time from uh, these receivers, these satellites rather. So um, we can actually click here on a um, position tab and it should, oh is it that one, there we go, sorry it's the azimuth uh, tab. And uh, these are the satellites that my Kiwi is currently receiving. You can see them on the, the little map there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are coming in. Um, if I were to click on the uh, map button here, that will actually plot the position of my Kiwi receiver, i.e. my home location. I'm not going to do that, but you can trust me when I say that is accurate to within my street. So from the, um, from the satellite antenna, the system's getting at a pinpoint location of the Kiwi. Let's click on the log tab. And um, we've got all the uh, occurrences that um, uh, have happened in the last, what, it's going back to 12.16, um, the last couple of hours. Every, every log on there's been, every IP address and uh, what modes been used and so on and so forth so it's a log of all the activity on the kiwi if we click on the console tab this is where we can enter um, commands directly into the uh, beagle single board computer it's not something we really want to uh, mess around with unless we have to unless something goes wrong with things so leave that one well alone the extension tab, uh, this deals with the little um, extension software that's built into the Kiwi. Most of it's for decoding various things like CW, fax, navtex, slow scan TV and so on. Kiwi also just uh, decodes whisper signals. And there's also a direction finding function built into the Kiwi which uh, will be the subject of a future video. But if you can see down here, we've got TDOA. That's the direction finding part of it. And again, this is where the, um, the, the satellite signal that plots the location of each Kiwi comes into, into play. So that's the uh, extension tab. And lastly, we've got the security tab. And uh, we've got the password for the admin and uh, various other passwords and security uh, things that we can set. So hopefully that was of some interest. That's the admin side of the Kiwi SDR.